In part 4 of our Kappa video series, we'll demonstrate using FreeQMS as a quality specialist, which we have named user 2, to close out the containment and investigation activities created in part 3. We will start by logging in as user 2. User 2 can select the Kappa module, but most users will be guided to FreeQMS through email notification tasks. The best place for user 2 to locate a checklist of open items is to click the Tasks button. From here, user 2 can see they have two new Kappa activity tasks. User 2 can click either one to jump straight to the record. Here we're at the Containment Kappa activity. User 2 can see they are in charge of tackling this containment. In a real business use environment, this would be a great time for the person assigned to this activity to review the Kappa. He or she may do so by clicking on the Information tab. Here we can review the Kappa source and items, and see the scope. It might also be useful to check the Files tab and see if there is any additional information. For now, let's return to our containment activity by clicking Kappa Activities and then Containment. We are going to close this containment activity by adding some information and then evidence of our work. Remember, any actions we do are posted to the record history. Let's click the Edit button. Let's update the activity status to Closed. This means we've finished the containment. We'll enter a complete date of today's date. And finally, we will fill out the containment field. This field supports any amount of characters. If your company has a process to attach a specific containment form or type of evidence, it may be better to put here, See Evidence. But for our purposes, we'll put a simple example statement. Manufacturing lines producing product from affected engineering specs are halted. See verification for posted signs indicating product lines are shut down. Let's click the Save button. Great, we've finished our containment, but we need to add evidence. Click the Add Cap Activity Verification button. For our evidence, we will enter, Please see attached photos of signs posted to shut down product lines for affected products. We will click Choose File next to Upload and select an image created for this demo, Kappa Containment Evidence. For notes we will put, Signs created and posted by QA. Click the Create button. Great, now we've closed our Kappa containment and added evidence. This Kappa should be considered contained and verified. Depending on your internal process, your Kappa administrator may want to review the containment before proceeding. In our example, where the CAP administrator issued the containment and investigation activities at the same time, we're going to proceed with the investigation. We can see that our containment activity is closed. Let's click the investigation root cause activity to proceed with closing the next activity. In the real world, a CAPA investigation would likely be performed after containment, as we're doing here, but may sometimes be done concurrently. Also, it's possible there may not be an investigation if the investigation was already performed as part of a non-conformance or audit finding. This is why FreeQMS offers the ability to generate flexible activity types. Let's click the Edit button. Completing the investigation root cause activity will be very similar to the containment activity. All FreeQMS Kappa activities are meant to work the same way. We'll update the activity status to Close. For Start Date, we'll put Today's Date since we just closed the containment. For complete date, we'll also put today's date. What a quick investigation! Remember, this is only a demo. Under Kappa Items, we can see which items we investigated. Remember, certain Kappa activities may only be against certain Kappa items in the real world. More on that when we get to the corrective action activities later in the series. Now we have to fill out the three fields specific to the investigation activity. We're going to use short, fictional summary statements that play into our later activities. In the real world, these fields would likely each have a lengthy answer, or perhaps even a long form form attached to the Evans area. For our investigation plan, we will put Perform a statistical sampling to select engineering specifications from affected product lines. Perform a 5Y root cause analysis to determine deficiencies in addressing ISO 14971. For our investigation conclusion, we will put the investigation conclusion includes the results of the 5 Y root cause analysis, which shows that the root cause of the deficiencies is addressing ISO 14971 is a lack of conformance in the company's change order process, which fails to adequately address risk management. For our root cause, we'll put 
a 5 by root cause analysis shows the root cause of the deficiencies in addressing ISO 14971 is a lack of conformance in the company's change order process, which fails to adequately address risk management. Great, let's click the Save button. Now, any Kappa investigation will most likely include supporting documentation. Our investigation is closed, but we need to attach verification. Let's click the Add Kappa Activity Verification button. In the evidence box, we will put, Please see attached 5Y root cause analysis on company approved form. We will click the Choose File button next to Upload. We're going to select a demo file we prepared on our computer titled Kappa Investigation Results. In the notes, we will put, 5Y analysis determined root cause in its change order process. Let's click the Create button. Great, we've now completed our investigation. In our next video, it's time for the Kappa Manager to review this Kappa before it proceeds to real corrections.